Basic Instinct is just one of several movies in, released in the theaters this weekend. Pia Lindstrom has some suggestions if you're thinking of heading to the movies. What's your new book about? A detective. Michael Douglas stars in Basic Instinct, a graphic, gory, and yes, gripping thriller about a kinky sex murder. Sharon Stone is the ACDC novelist with a fondness for rough sex and ice picks in this movie book? designed to shock yes, and I scare. Am. I thought you said it was a strangler. Does it matter how he kills? Woody Allen's Shadow and Fog is his first in black and white since Zelig. It reminds one of Fellini, Bergman, Brecht, and Dickens. But with a New York-sounding nebbish named Kleinman as the central character, it is quintessential Woody Allen. It's not his best, but even his second best is worth a visit. Now, didn't I tell you next time you appear in my courtroom that you dress appropriately? You were serious about that? My cousin Vinny is a hoot, with Joe Pesci as a novice lawyer who goes outfit? south to defend his innocent cousin on a murder rap. No, Pesci is wonderful as he confounds them with his Brooklyn accent. Outfit. Quite like a Durbar, Lady Edward said. Ah. Poetic and highbrow, Howard's End with Anthony Hopkins out of his Hannibal Thank Lecter straitjacket and into an elegant morning coat. Well, Vanessa Redgrave plays Maybe the dying switch. owner of a country house called yeah. Howard's End that unites two very different really? families. You might enjoy the rhythm of the Mambo Kings with Armand Asante and Antonio Banderas as Cuban brothers who try their luck in love and music in the New York club scene in the 50s. On the serious side, there is American Me with Edward James Olmos who follows the dead-end lives of three generations of Hispanics who join gangs. On the light side, Noises Off with Michael Caine in an Americanized version of a British farce about a troupe of actors. It opened today. And next week, look for more on the JFK assassination when Ruby opens. I'm Pia Lindstrom for News 4 New York.